All right, guys, what I got here is a 2014 Chrysler 200, and issue with it is check engine light came on for P0441, I believe. Um, not exactly sure because the code was cleared out by somebody else, and well, at least it's not currently on. But customers complaining of uh, that code, and it's an, e it's an EVAP condition. We're believing it is this solenoid, so this is what you're going to be looking for part wise. Part number CP646. This is the 2.4 liter engine, and the location of this little solenoid is right below the master cylinder in that area. You want to go all the way down and look straight down on the point at it with the screwdriver right here. Right where that's guys, at. right there. See where my screwdriver end is at? That's where you're going to be looking for. That's where it's located, this little EVAP canister thing, or solenoid, that would probably need changed. Someone else told them grab this part and that should fix this problem so we're going to find out and i'm going to let you know in the future too on the updates in the comment or either in the description below i'll tell you if this solved this issue with the code p0441 but this is what you're going to be looking for once again looks like this showed you the part number cp646 and i'm going to even demonstrate some of this how this comes off that little um connector on the bottom there's a little Tabby, you're going to want to try to push that over and then push down on this. Let me see. It's a, it's like a quick connect release. Sorry, I'm not going to be able to show you with the camera. Let me see. You might be able to. Might be able to. Let me see if I can get it down here. Where's my thumb at? I can't see it on here. Nope. Yeah, it might be able to. Let me see. Still really can't show you. But there's a little thing you want to slide it with your thumb like this over and then push down on the line and this one's a little tight there I got it and then that comes off that's one okay like I said now I got it off I could actually show you to push this thing in it you know and then you can pull it off and then same at the top there's this little red safety thing for keeping the wire from coming unplugged you gotta pop that back also and let me see if I can get my finger around here and get that also <clears throat> let me try the screwdriver might even be able to change this whole thing on video show the whole working of it Getting it off. Hold on, I'm flat it. That's the problem. That's not flat. It's not my flat. Hold on, guys. Should have another one like that, Chris. I don't know where I put it though. Here it is. Buddy. I don't think you have to pull these things all the way out. You just gotta get them back so far, but I haven't pulled them all the way out. There we go. Yeah. Sorry. Got it right there get that out of there so you could get the wire off of it <laughs> that's still gonna be fun but at least I got that little red guy out of it also how to get the uh, 
solenoid itself off of there. There's this little thing right here, it's on the side of it. You gotta work that with your thumb also to get that to slide off. And that should slide right out of there then. But I'm gonna try to get this wire unplugged first while something hold is holding for me. If I can get I might have to sit down. There we go. I got it. Right now. So let's think about freeing up another hand there. Then the other one on the bottom, I think just a regular rubber hose. This one right here. I could pry that off probably with a screwdriver. A little one. I'm gonna set this camera down. Stay there for me. Hey, what's up, buddy? I would have had the other car in there. I just decided to touch this one real quick to get a little off. Uh, Put these little solenoid things on it. Read that. Uh, it's actually right down here at the bottom. Is it a bitch to get through? A little bit. I mean, it's. It's not crazy. Oh, it's on the firewall there. Yeah, I get my little arm down there. That's why I'm making, I even decided to make a little video to share it. I figure I'll put it on YouTube in case someone else has the same code and problem, wants to know where this little guy's located. They can watch my video. No, I'm just trying to get this hose off of here. Maybe I'll actually, um, whatchamacallit on this, slide it off the thing, see it slides out. I got to slide out already, that, that part's pretty easy. Instead so you just push, push this little tab in. And it slides right off the little bracket that it's on. I already got it unplugged and I already got the one off the bottom. Just gotta get that one to the side of it. So I was trying to get with a screwdriver, get the little rubber connector off of it. You can just see it a little bit better here. Right there. Just gotta twist her off. And then go back together with it. Anyways guys, this is basically what you're looking for. This is the location of it. You can see half the battle I'm going through already with it. Give you an idea of what you're gonna be fighting with and also how long it's took me so far, less than 10 minutes, I'm still at it. But uh, just gotta get one little rubber hose off and go back together. And like I said, I showed y'all how pretty much this is a release tab for it to slide off the little bracket that holds it onto the firewall down there. Sit down right in that little area right there. Either or, hope the video helps you out. Can't do the job for you, but if I could, I'd help you out. But um, thanks for watching. Comment if uh, you want subs, please. Thank you. Either or. Later.